Alright monster fans, we're gonna go a little strange today with Kaiju number three, a creature of my own creation. Let's get started. Alright, I'm gonna do a tooth here and uh, oh, let me zoom in over here. Okay, the film's gonna be a little sped up so that you can, uh, you won't be bored. Usually these things take me uh, 29, 30 minutes, maybe 35. So I'm going to speed it up. Tell me what you think about that. Do you want it sped up? Is it too fast? Is it too slow? Let me know and I'll see if I could work around my new videos. Anyway, here's the jaw and the gums. Now, this guy's head is like mashed in. Right, giving it that strange look. Strange slug-like look. And uh, he has no eyes, no nose, nothing to guide an ordinary creature. But this is not an ordinary creature, this is an extraordinary creature. Let's do the legs. Now, I, this, was, this creature wasn't planned. I was pretty much winging it as I was going along. Usually all of my monsters, I wing it as I go along. Okay, sometimes I'll say to myself, okay, I want a monster with a with a hammer head and forearms and uh, hooves and stuff like that. That's pretty much what I consider uh, a planned monster. But a monster that I do not have planned, that I'm just drawing as I go along, would be this kind of thing. Now, like I said... He has like a slug-like top of the head, but jaws like a carnivore. Dragon-like jaw, bottom jaw. Yet an insect-like body. Okay. Now I was drawing this and I said to myself, well, you know, he's, his arms really can't do anything but walk and jump. His jaws are for chewing and ripping. So I had to add a little extra something on this puppy. So, I was trying to figure out what kind of, I was going to do a scorpion tail, but I was like, eh, scorpion tail would look weird on this guy. So, I said, okay, I'll make tentacles that uh, blast out of its backside. Now, the tentacles can be used to uh, rope its victim, or uh, smack his victims, or choke his victims. They're very powerful, and... Uh, and they can stretch to an amazing length. They're retractable. So there I go, I'm drawing the, the, the three. I made three exposed, but who knows, there could be others in his body, not ready to come out. And that would be his primary capture and defense weapon. The teeth would be the ultimate, the, 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 the deal sealer. So here we go with the shadow. It's sped up a little more so that you can see how I lay the shadow onto the object surface. Shadowing anything that the light is not really touching or is not touching well, which would be the underneath. Now here are the nails. See how I draw the, the mostly black but with white uh, little peaks that gives it the appearance of a shiny black nail. If it were a white nail you would want to shadow it to look like it's just a shadowed white nail. Not necessarily shiny but dull. But when you draw the nail black on both sides and white streaks inside the nail either on one side or both sides it gives it the appearance of shine a shiny black nail notice the nail and the teeth two different shadings but you can see that the teeth are not black and they're not shiny the nails on the foot is black and shiny but the teeth still have their shadow so it's a trick in shadowing and I will go detailed on this trick or technique let's say 
in a future tutorial on nails and teeth, shiny, dull, etc. You have any questions? You have any uh, comments? Put them down in the comments below. If you're a subscriber, uh, please do these things. If you're not a subscriber and you like what you see and you want to see more, feel free to subscribe because I'm going to pump these uh, pictures out. There's going to be a lot more kaijus, especially with the anticipation of the new Godzilla movie, 2014. And there'll be other things like zombies, superheroes, robots, monsters, gore, whatever you people can think of or come up with that you may want to suggest something. So I'm shadowing the tentacles, which are not super, super uh, even, but that's because they are worm-like, they are pulsating, and they are stretching and whipping around, so you're not going to get a super clean line on both sides of the tentacle unless you want to do that if you want to do a super you know super curvy st straight curvy lines if, if you know what I'm trying to say uh, I'm doing the shadows that overlap one tentacle with the other to show that one is behind the other it's a shadowing lighting technique that you can use whenever you're drawing multiple things next to each other the shadow of one has to overlap the shadow of the other depending on where the light is you would have to figure that out also will be in a tutorial lighting and shadowing so I'm finishing off the legs as you can see uh, outlining certain things the jaw lines you can see it better it was kind of washing away with the neck the legs bring it out more the top of the head the outline and uh, that should be it and there you have it guide you number three I gotta give these guys names what do you think they should be called? What do you think this guy should be called? Or my other kaijus? You may want to write that in the uh, comments below. And uh, there you go. And that's today's kaiju. There will be lots more coming. So hang tight, people. More kaiju on the way.